No, this video is not about any gate preparation strategy for last six months. If you want to find that, then there are plenty of videos in the YouTube only made by various students who have cracked gate with excellent ranks and also by the coaching uh, teacher. Now, this video is about some aspect which if you lose, you will lose your gate. Now, don't be afraid because these aspects are very common, but I am here to uh, remind you those same things. So, without any delay, uh, let us start. So, the first one is giving importance to everything. Now, have you heard about the rule 80-20 rule or it is also famous as uh, Pareto's rule or Pareto's principle? So, it says that there are 80% things which are actually not important and there are 20% things which are important. Now, this applies in every situation in our life and this also applies to gain. That means, what we actually do is, we try to cover all the 100% syllabus, all the 100% things and we end up with a 50% covered syllabus which is a blend up mode of this 80% unimportant and 20% important. So I will give you an example. So as a mechanical engineer, you will uh, be able to I mean, relate with it. So we have a topic called breaks in the machine design. So uh, we will see that in PYQs of gate, there is no question that cannot be solved with the basic knowledge of the that friction wall belt and pulley thing that we study in actually engineering mechanics. If you have already studied that, you don't have to study this brake chapter separately. Obviously, this brake chapter is actually very vast. We have small angle brakes, large angle brakes and all the things. But you don't need to study as far as the Pareto's rule is concerned. I'm not telling you that all those things in the brake chapter will not come ever. It can come, but the chances are very less. Now it's up to you that you will spend your time in studying that 80% unimportant chapter break or you will spend your time in studying in that 20% important chapter that can be any topic from manufacturing, any topic from machine design or any other. Now, this brings to another question that how to identify that 20% important and the answer is very obvious and very simple that is the gate previous year question. Now, if you scan through the gate previous year question then you will see that for most of the topic, I mean, there is a pattern of question that is being repeated almost every year. So from that pattern, you can find that, okay, this much amount or this is the only concept in this chapter that I have to take care. Like in, in manufacturing, I only covered 60% syllabus. We all know that how vast is that subject for any, any mechanical engineer I am talking about. We all know. So I only covered 60% syllabus. Now in gate 2023, it was an exception that the manufacturing questions was unexpectedly out of the pattern. But that was not for me, that was for everyone. Now, there are very few students, maybe one person student who will, I mean, study the manufacturing with a great detail. Because as I was a college fourth year student, I was not having that much of time. So, I believe that there are plenty of students who are not having that much of time. So, for them, this 80% and 20% rule is a must. Now, coming to the next topic. So, have you taken the test series yet? I know that from 80% of you who are watching this video, I will get the answer no. So, I mean, what are you waiting for? This is the time, high time, that I beg you, I will pair you to buy a test series. Yaar. It will cost you uh, 2000 rupees, okay? I know that for many of you, 2000 rupees can be a big deal, but still, uh, if you can manage it, then uh, by saving it fr uh, from those movie nights, by I mean from those outings and hotel eatings, please save that money and invest it in buying those test series. Now you have bought your test series because I have told you I am get AR31, right? But now what? I mean, you have bought that test series and now uh, that is a showpiece having beautiful questions, having maybe 4,000, 5,000 questions. I mean, that is how the test series are being advertised. So this uh, test series is having 5,000 questions. This is having 6,000. So that is a very good showpiece. Uh, you just keep it that into your cupboard. So don't do that. For test series, what you have to do it, this is a must. So don't make that test series another competition for you. Don't compete with the students who are attempting that test series. Okay, you have a already a big competition gate. So don't make that test series your enemy. Okay, that is I have to compete with those 100 guys 
who have taken that test series don't compete with them. the rank does not matter yaar please i beg you don't go for don't look at the ranks to ju to judge yourself you have to analyze your mistakes now mark this sentence make a copy in that copy you will write the mistakes that you have made in any of the test that you are going to give okay? and now that that copy will be filling up day by day day by day you have to revise that copy from scratch i am telling you from scratch that is not the thing that i have given this test today so i will revise the mistakes of this test tomorrow no you have to revise that copy from the page 1 to the last page every night before you are going into bed so this is a scientifically proven trick so any of my juniors in iit also some btech guys ask me some some mtech first year guys who are aiming to give a uh, repeat in gate they also ask me that what should i do i i tell this to everyone but uh, my bad that i mean no one is conveyed or no one is convinced okay i mean i i am sure that barely anyone but this is a step that can put you forward okay so revise that copy every day before going to sleep that goes into your subconscious mind automatically you don't have to remember the formula so that was the test now the third point is not keeping yourself in touch with every subject throughout the year so i will talk about a particular incident i'm sure that 100% of you will be able to correlate so you have studied thermodynamics from a very very reputed course maybe an nptel course maybe your your own college course or maybe any good book or maybe even from a faculty coaching fact but you have studied it one month ago and then you have thought now in the next month i will complete fluid mechanics then i will solve the questions of uh, thermo and fluid jo bhi ho lekin the fact is that if you are not in touch with that subject then your brain will think that yes this subject is not important for me at okay all. because i am not using it from last past uh, maybe 15 days okay yes your brain retention capacity can be decreased by that much amount if you are not in touch with a particular subject for only 7 days then also your brain can forget it it happens because of the over exposure with the social media content and and those entertainment contents okay that those are uh, the things that is degrading our brain okay? so the thing is you have to make ensure that you are going with all the subjects throughout the year for example maybe you have decided to solve 10 questions today okay so split those 10 questions like this pick up any five subjects and for each subject you solve two questions so that will make you 10 questions and if you have to study also then rather than studying thermodynamics all over the day you do it like this that i will study thermodynamics for one hour then i will study fluid mechanics for one hour or maybe engineering mechanics for one hour so do it like this that throughout the week you are in touch with all the subjects including aptitude and engineering mathematics mark my words these two are most important subjects not the most okay but one of the most important so i think i am clear that somehow by hook or crook you have to manage to get in touch with all the subjects i am not talking about the fact that uh, you have to study all the subjects from a to z in in one week okay no you don't have to revise like that solve one question from fluid mechanics today that is okay i mean solve one question fr from fluid mechanics from then then one question from thermodynamics then one question from engineering mechanics solve like that okay and go on. so in that way you will be in touch with all the so go slow but go in a proper way now last but maybe the most important fact that is not taking care of your health and mind now you will be arguing with me ki yaar ye baat hai to sab karte hain right so this is i know that this sounds very obvious none of us actually maintain i will give you a proof so first talking about the health it is very obvious actually that is if you are getting any fever then your 3 to 4 days can be wasted so that is why keep your food habits right keep your exercise habits right so i think that you can waste one hour per day for your body if not one hour at least 20 minutes for your body so now you will ask that uh, what will happen yes your immunity will grow up so a person having higher immunity can be recovered in maybe in one day from a just a viral fever 
but if you are having a low immunity then it can go up to seven days so now the choice is clear right so now talking about the second point that is the mind i think you have noticed that when you are appearing for any test series you are making many silly mistakes now you will again jump up and you will argue with me that man silly mistake uh, everyone can make that right we are humans yes but from my point of view if you are making more than three silly mistakes that is number proposed by me but i think it is true if you are making more than three silly mistakes uh, then my friend this is not a common thing. you have serious problem with your mind your mind is not stable when you are attempting that exam and that is why you are making silly i mean i noticed that i was appearing for the mock tests and i was losing almost 10 marks in silly mistakes. and in my actual gate exam also i lost five marks in silly mistakes. so believe me it hurts so much when you come to know after giving the actual exam that yes i knew this concept this was a very easy concept and i have made so it hurt too much so for that spend at least 10 minutes to stabilize your mind do any kind of meditation if you don't like meditation go to a very calm place and concentrate on yourself uh, listen to any good uh, podcast or maybe any soothing soothing music soothing music not soothing songs of uh, bollywood tollywood or hollywood anything not soothing songs soothing music and other than that most importantly please 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 spend your time with those who are capable of uplifting you so you will find in these days of gate preparation you will find plenty of friends plenty of neighbors plenty of hashtag relative who will say you yaar gate bahut mushkil hai mere bachche se to nahi ho payega ab dekho shayad usse ho jaye lekin zyada tar logo ka nahi hota so these are the typical comments that will be passed on you so that is why choose the person carefully with whom you are going to spend your time don't socialize under the peer pressure that i have to go out with my friends those friends will also tell the same thing yaar gate to yaar bahut mushkil hai hamare us senior ne bhi diya tha uska bhi nahi hua ab ye to bahut mushkil hai lekin shayad placement se hi ho jayega so these are the fact can save you or if you neglect it that can totally ruin your preparation please 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 think about this fact and try to apply these four aspects into your gate preparation journey to make it easier now if you have very less time and you are thinking that how to uh, do much with that then i would suggest you that you should make your own preparation strategy okay and how to make that i mean don't follow anyone else's preparation strategy but make your own so how to make that for that i have made one video that will be in the in screen also and also in the uh, description box and other than that if you are someone who is not willing to spend on to coaching because i know that 5000 is very less for someone but the same 5000 is a very big deal for someone so i'm talking about that someone else for whom the 5000 is not a very small amount so for them i have also made a video that why you should or should not join the coaching centers i mean how can you do your own get preparation by your own i have also done the same i did not join any course so go through those videos and i will meet you there thank you and take